So it was my last week in Phuket and uh, I asked both of my trainers, Nin and Big, to hold pets for me for very last time. And here is a little story besides that. So all my Muay Thai era divides on two periods, before I broke my arm and after. First two years I trained with Nin and another two years with Big. I started Muay Thai from the absolute zero, without any previous experience and even without any interest in combat sport. I just tried to hit pets for first time and I literally fell in love. So I only wanted to do Muay Thai just for fun, like many of ours girls. But Destiny had another opinion. So I came to Phuket Top Team and met this man, Nin. He took me on pets and started to train really hard, like a fighter, even though I was a girl and absolute beginner. But he also saw that I'm strong and learning fast. I actually never wanted to spar with people when I came to Muay Thai gym. Lol. <laughs> I thought kicking pets and just a bag, it's enough for me. <laughs> But Nin, same as my destiny, had another opinion. He looked at me very strictly and said, you, go spar, now. Okay, I replied, in this sport we don't say no to the trainer. So I thought maybe I can just spar a little bit, but it's not necessary to hit people in the face, right? I didn't want to, I thought body and just somewhere in the air would be enough. <laughs> I was not used to punch people in the face, for the beginner it's psychologically hard. But other girls started to punch straight to my face. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I was really surprised how they don't even give any shit about that. Bitches. LOL. <laughs> so I had to learn how to punch them back. After 5 months of training I asked my coach Nin. Hey coach, when can I fight? It was a joke, I still was not going to. And my parents would fucking kill me if I do. But Nin doesn't know jokes. You cannot fight, he said, with his very serious and strict voice. Nothing in the world makes me more motivated than someone is telling me that I can't do something. Only I know what I can appeared in my head at that moment. The quote by John Locke from the Lost series. I guess, yeah, it was the very first moment when I actually wanted to fight and I started to train even harder. Long time my gym had no girls at all. I was the only one like fighting girl and I sparred and clinched with boys, with everyone, with tight trainers. I was not scared of anything. I was very crazy and a little bit stupid after life taught me, of course. After about eight months of me training Muay Thai, my coach Nin finally said himself with his own mouth now you can fight. He is not very talkative and longer sentences you would barely hear from him, but I remember this moment very well. After a while my first fight was booked and everything changed. I became a fighter. My destiny was changed. This man changed my destiny. He made me a fighter. Thank you, Nim. Forever thankful. Kata. 
When I came back to the gym after breaking my arm, they never trained me again. And no one really wanted to train a sponsored fighter who can't fight and who only can punch with one arm. And there was this young new guy, just a boy really. He was very smiling, very shy and seemed to be really nice. And once I got lucky to get on pads with him. And it was absolutely amazing. Super high pace, very hard pad session. And his legendary comments like, awesome, amazing. Anyone who trained with big knows that. <laughs> And I was happy again. That day I said that we officially have a second Nin at the gym. So I went straight to Nin, since he is a main coach, and asked him if I can work with this new young guy. And he said, okay, and this is how our new duet was born. Big was that one guy who trained me for two months with one arm only. I couldn't really punch with another arm and couldn't fight and I was training just like to stay active. He was joking with me, training me really hard and he was motivating me that I will fight soon even though I still couldn't. He was always like soon, soon <laughs> and making me to feel meaningful again even though I was absolutely destroyed inside and I felt so miserable. <laughs> When I trained with him I was happy again and of course I will be forever thankful, it will be never forgotten. Thank you big. Chandra Kun. <laughs> Four and a half months after injury I came back to the ring. It was very stupid and too early and I booked this fight myself. Nin was very angry but he didn't cancel it. Why did I do that? Because. When I got injured, when I broke my arm, some of the trainers thought that it's funny to make fun at me and to troll me that you will only fight next year. And it was August, I broke my arm in August and of course I was very pissed inside and I said I will be fighting this year. And I couldn't not to follow my words and I booked this fight myself with the promoter at Bangla Stadium on the 28th of December, like just right before the new year. <laughs> but after being injured, I kind of lost my ability to fight. I forgot really who I was before, how fearless I was, and um, I was not the same. So I lost two fights in a row after my comeback, but then I realized that there is a problem in my head and I started to work on it. I have to become who I was before. I have to forget about this arm, forget about this fucking arm. And I started to be winning again. I was so happy to finally make Big proud because it was the only way how I could say thank you for what he has done for me. For two years of our training he turned from a, just a boy to a man and I was very happy to see that. Now he is one of the best coaches at the gym and everyone wants to work with him and I'm very very proud for my trainer Big. And again, thank you for everything Big. I love you a lot. I will be always remembering that young, shy, smiling boy. Thanks guys for watching. 
please hit the subscribe button and like this video and I'll see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!